In today's video, we're going to be doing a mold, making one, and I've tried this once before, but of course I've got to use something super complicated, so I did this crystal business card holder. I want to make all different versions of this. And I started with a regular Ziploc bag and put a heavier piece of board or cardboard underneath it. And to place my item, and just so you can see, and I'll, it's going to look afterwards. I'm really excited about this. There is a lot of small cracks that I am worried about, but I'm trying it anyway. So here I'm just trying to set up how to measure it and create my own custom border for it. With the mold, I read the directions and it said have about a quarter of an inch above and around it. So it's a little hard. I'm marking it with I'm trying to go around it with a tape just so it doesn't seep out. So you have to really get those edges and the inside you'll see. But this took a lot longer. I've cut out a lot of this out of the video just because it was really annoying and it took quite a while to do. So just be prepared. trying to finish this up here I know it might be a little boring but you might want to see uh, how well you have to seal it otherwise your silicone rubber will just right out so um, this is the silicone I have used it's called silicone rubber by decor room I'll have all the links in the bottom and even where you can buy the business card holder, I'm going to try to have them up on Etsy. This is a one-to-one, -one, so um, it's by volume, not by weight. So all you have to do is, in this container, I think I did two ounce and two ounce. I can't remember. Um, but it just has to be exact, and I think I had to mix it for three minutes. But just check your directions, because each one's going to be different. I'm really, really sorry, but my video wasn't recording and I wanted to just show you here. This is how I started. You just drip it on and I did this so it will go down in those tiny cracks. And I started out that way and I'm sorry about the video, it just wasn't recording and I thought it was. I just dripped it down, dripped it down. And this is actually the second pour This is capable of doing it all in one pour, but I kind of ran out. I had a remix. And this size uses so much of the silicone that I took my other one and I figured I'll just cut it, cut pieces off that I can use and fill it in 
to save some of that because it is kind of expensive. I mean, especially when you're practicing. And before I go and pour, I'm going to place these all so I kind of know um, where they go and I don't want to cause any air pockets. So I keep it away from the actual uh, crystals there that I don't want to get touched by these things because then it won't look like them afterwards, if that makes sense. And so I... All right, well, I only Remixed. have this much left, so I'm hoping that the extra ones I planned out will finish it. First, I'm going to pour a little bit of the silicone just so it can but first I'm gonna put a little not have any air bubbles. It will connect then uh, put to my the already used silicone. Cut ones on top of that, so it has something that I cut. underneath it. I don't know. If, I don't want any bare bubbles. Then I'll put them in and it should be good. Here I am three days later because I had to order more silicone, which I'm already thinking, oh my gosh, this is costing like so much. But I am still hoping, hoping it's going to be worth it. If it's not, that is a horrible amount down the drain. I've went and shredded some more, tried to save it. And when you're done pouring, you have to pour a fourth above your project. So I've I've already, I don't know, you can't really tell, but I marked off about a fourth up from the crystal so I could tell while I'm pouring it. And so this is it dry, and you just peel it out. I ended up waiting about a week because I touched it, and it just didn't seem like it was set. And so I'm like, I'll just wait instead of ripping it off and finding out that it wasn't set. So patience is important, and I know it's hard sometimes. It's, it is with me. That is one solid chunk. And so now you have to kind of cut it out of your mold. And it's such a very fine layer that's on the top, but don't cut into any other spot because it might end up making your mold um, on the bottom. When you pour, it will come out like that. So I tried very carefully, and this is sped up. I really took my time. And some pieces came off nice and easy, and then some you just kind of have to judge. And it ended up um, that I'll probably just have to sand the bottom, which is fine. I usually have to... The first
first time you pull it out of the mold, it's going to be the toughest. This thing, it's stuck on, but I didn't want to ruin it, so a little pull, a little edge, pull a little edge here and there. I've cut this video again just because I had to like put it in my lap and try to get it out. But it was a struggle. Just hoping it comes out all in one piece. And it did. Super happy. I could see little spots like right here. There's all. I'm just hoping when you pour it though, you really won't be able to tell all these tiny things. But it's going to really. Like that piece. I was like, oh crap. I ended up later on cutting that a little bit. It's just hard to know what to cut. And so that's why you just pour it first, check it out, look it over, and then decide to cut it or not. So for my first try at it, I'm using this beautiful mermaid trash glitter in Moonstone, I believe. Yes, Moonstone. It is just gorgeous. I think I just got it in that day and I was like, I gotta try this. So excited about it. So when I pour my, mix my glitter, I pour some glitter on the bottom, mix that up because it kind of, you really have to mix when you're using your glitter and your resin. And then I pour some on top to kind of, I don't know, try to make it even. I hope it works. It seems to work really well like that. Give that a good mix up. I was really excited waiting to pour this thing and seeing how it was going to come out. And so again, um, I will just take it and I'll drip a little in there just because there is such tiny pockets and anything can make a bubble, anything can ruin it. So I just tried that same technique. While we're watching here, if you like my video, can you give it a thumbs up and subscribe? Um, I heard this the other day that like 80% of the people watching the video aren't subscribers. And so if we can make that hmm, 20%, that would be so awesome. I just, it's hard to know if which ones people really like. And so when I get the likes or a whole bunch of subs from the video, then I know that those are ones that I should be concentrating more on. And if you want to see anything else, just write it in the comments. I like to answer them. And it makes me really happy when people comment. If they're nice. <laughs> Just letting that sit there a little bit. Um, I, I don't know if this helps, but I tap the outside. Try to get the bubbles to free up and come out. Um, when I take my stick there, sometimes I'll poke down in. But when I poke down in, I'm trying to stay in the resin and poke down, not above the resin and then poke down, if that makes sense. Just so the bubbles don't, I'm um, not pushing more bubbles in there. Oh, I was so excited the whole night. I was like, I can't wait to see what this looks like. But then I let it sit. I made sure it was even. And just, oh, I torched it. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, you got to torch the bubbles. And I slowly peeled away from the sides. It was 10 times easier than the first one. I could still feel it sticking in there a little bit. That's why I ended up deciding to cut that one piece. I don't know if it'll show.
Da -da -da. Look at that. I was so happy. I'm like, oh my gosh, this actually worked. And near the edges there, I will sand. Um, if people are going to have this on their desk, they don't want it scratching up their desk. It's just so beautiful. And if you like to see this demolding, I am going to put up another video, part two. And it's just two more of the molds. Um, different color combinations I use. And, and you can see that. It's not as long as this video. Thank you.